everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Philinda Roy. I am a lifestyle and fashion lifestyle photographer. Today I will share with you guys seven tips to manage your photo shoot like a pro. Tip number one is to create a mood board before your photo shoot. A mood board is an inspirational document explaining what you want to achieve and what type of photos and what type of vibe you want to create for your photo shoot. You usually hand this off to your makeup artist, hairstylist, fashion stylist, and model so everybody is on the same page and know what they should bring to the photo shoot. I'll show you an example of mine. Usually my mood board contains three to five pages and here we go. If you look at this one here, if you look at it, you can tell it's a beach location. For props, I would like to have a hammock, a mat or a towel for the model, even a tent or a teepee. We'll also use a beach chair. As for clothing, we would like the fashion stylist or for the model to bring swimsuit, bikini and one pieces, a dress or skirt and a top. You can also see the lighting. I want to shoot at sunset and I also want to shoot some of the shots before sunset. We'd also need a blanket and a hat. If we move on to the next page, as you'll see here, we have a location on the top. And for this particular location and this shot, I'd like the model to be in a short skirt or dress with a top and a hat. We'll move on to the next shot which is actually in the same location, but the wardrobe changes. We would like a bikini top. You can see how the model's hair is down. We also want either pants or jeans. For the next shot, we change locations within the same location and I want more of a swimsuit, colorful swimsuit or a solid white swimsuit more of a bikini. The model is also holding a camera. And again, same location. We want the model to be wearing a long dress and a long skirt. And that's pretty much how you share with your team what you'd like them to bring and where you're going to shoot within your location. We'll move on to tip number two. Scout your location three to four days before your photo shoot. If you have time, you can do it further out, two weeks, a week, whatever you need. You have your mood board done so you know what type of location you're looking for. So you go out, bring your camera or your mobile phone and take photos of the location. And then you can prepare what type of shots, what type of clothing you want to do at each location on your photo shoot. For tip number three, talk to and direct your model during the photo shoot. If you do that, you'll get much better photos. You need to talk to the model, tell them the mindset that they should be in. You also need to explain to them what type of poses you want. If they don't understand, you actually can show them the pose yourself, either where you're standing or you get where they are and show them how you want them to pose. Another good thing is to chip through the photos and praise them. Show them the photos on the back of the camera. You can explain to them, oh, I want more of this or I want less of that. If they're not opening their eyes, you can show them that and they can work on that and you will have a better photo shoot. Tip number four, 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 is bring extra batteries and extra memory cards. For me, I do it because I'd like a safety net in case my battery runs down really quickly or if it fails, I have something right there that I can pop into the camera. Same thing goes for your memory cards. 
They either can get full or they can fail. If that happens, all you do is pop in a new one and you don't have to waste so much time and you can move on with the photo shoot. Tip number five, arrive to your location 45 minutes to an hour before your photo shoot. I'm sure you're asking Philinda, why should I do that? The call time is at two o'clock. Everybody arrives at two o'clock. Well, if that happens and the model is already ready to go and everybody else is, everybody's standing there waiting 30 minutes, 20 minutes, wasting time, waiting for you to get set up. So if you arrive early, you can re-scout your location. Sometimes some unexpected things occur, like there's people where you wanted to do one of your shots. You need to be able to improvise and find a new place. If you're early, you can do that. Also, you can have all your equipment set up and everybody arrives and you're able to start shooting immediately. And if your makeup and hair is being done on set and you're setting up, your makeup artist, your hairstylist can't ask you questions. So if you are set up, you can just stand there, have them do the hair and makeup and you can advise them or they can ask you questions if you want more of something or less of something. So. It's just real easy for everybody if you're set up prior to everybody coming. Tip number six is to frame and compose your shots in your camera while you're shooting. A lot of people will get to their photo shoot, they'll put the model in front of the camera and they just snap, snap away and hope they get something. That's not really a good plan because you don't always get something. If you take your time and slow down and frame each shot, whether or not the model is full frame, filling up the whole frame, or if the model is partially in the frame, you need to look through the viewfinder and frame the model how you want them. Once you have it that way, then and only then you press the shutter. If you do that, I guarantee you'll have better shots every time you shoot. Well, we've arrived to our final tip, tip number seven. Check your exposure every time your lighting changes or if you move your model. If you're shooting out in an open field and the sun is obscured by the clouds or if you're in a partially shaded area and the sun comes in, your exposure has changed. So what you need to do is just tell everybody, lighting has changed, you need to check my exposure you snap a couple of shots, you look at the back of your camera, and you adjust your settings in case you're underexposed or overexposed so you can get that perfect shot. If you move your model to a different location, the sun lighting or the lighting has changed, so you need to snap a few shots initially, check to see what your exposure is, and again, either open up your aperture or change your shutter speed so you can get the shot you want. If you do that, you will get great shots every time. Well, there you have it. Seven tips to manage your photo shoot like a professional. If you have any questions or comments, please put that in the comment section below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. One final thing, if you have not done so already, hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to my channel. To be notified every time I post a new video, you also need to hit that bell button. If you don't hit the bell button, you won't get notifications. Well, thank you guys for watching. Bye, see you next time.